guys, it's Griffin and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing another haul. But this haul isn't just any other haul, this is a completely unsponsored haul. I spent all my own money to get this stuff. I wanted to do a video where everything is brutal. I'm way too honest about this stuff. Like, I'm so excited because I ordered a bunch of cute stuff. I also just recently cleaned out my closet, so it's time to get some new cute clothes in there. So, without further ado, let's get into this haul. Let's start with Tiger Mist. I think this is a site where I spent the most money. I need scissors. Hmm. Okay. I have two packages from them. This one and this big one. This is the first package. I'm excited because I have a photo shoot tomorrow, so I also need new clothes to shoot. This is the bodysuit from IMG, the Saturn bodysuit. This is what the top portion of it looks like and this is what the bottom portion of it looks like. It's kind of hard to explain, but you guys will see it when I try it on. I think that one came in a separate package because I pre-ordered it and I didn't think that it would get here in the same time frame as this package, and evidently it didn't. It came like a day earlier or a day later, I think. Oh, you guys, I forgot what I ordered because it's been like a hot minute because I was waiting to collect all my packages. There's some cute stuff in here. First and foremost is this white poly jumper sweater. Oh, this is really cute. One of those tie-up sweaters, you wrap it around your waist and then you tie it up. I think it's super cute and I'm definitely excited to try this one on because I feel like it'll go with a lot of stuff. Sweatpants? Oh, these white and pink sweatpants because I ordered a matching top and these are in a size extra small But they look a little big so I don't know. I think these are gonna be too big on me Let's look at the matching top of it as well and then we'll go to me trying it on This set by the way is called the Zoe hoodie and these are the Zoe pants This one's just a cropped hoodie that I think is super cute and I love the colors on it and I think that it will match my wardrobe really well and I really think it will be perfect for like a day at the airport or anything along those lines just a comfy outfit but still chic and cute next is the Drew play suit which I'm sure all of you guys have seen before because a lot of people I think have it but I think it's so cute and I don't have it and now I do and I love it it's a white play suit with this tan thread going through it and I think it's actually so cute it looks a little big but hopefully it does fit if not I need to go take it to get tailored but yes I got it because everyone else has it and it's so cute is called the demi top this is a top with one sleeve on one sleeve off and then this side scrunches up I've seen it on a lot of models I've seen just so many people wearing tops like this and I thought it was about time that I tried one myself so I got one because Tiger Mist has a ton of different tops in this pattern but I thought this was the cutest out of all of them I'm Gia is the Salacia shorts, which these are interesting. I thought they were fun. They're these green neon black mesh shorts. I kind of don't know how to describe them. They're bicycle shorts that are black mesh on top of green neon mesh. There you go. They're so cute and there was like a bodysuit from them that was like the same pattern. They had one in green and in red. I thought it was so cute but I didn't think I would wear it nearly as much as I would wear these biker shorts because you can pair this with so so much. are the ruby top and ruby pants. I have this set in red, but now I have it in this tan color. So I need to go outside and get my tan on because <laughs> I'm so pale. Anyway, I got it in this tan color and I think that it's so cute. This is the top, it's a lettuce trim top and it's kind of see-through so you do need to wear a bra under it. And then these are the bottoms. They're 
super loose fitting and comfy, which I love. And they don't crease when you wear them, which is really nice. These are the bottoms. They're just these super comfy pants with a lettuce trim at the very end of it. I think that it's so cute and it's by far one of my favorite outfits that Tiger Mist has. They have it in a few different colors. I think they have it in white as well. Um, but now I have it in two colors and maybe I'll get the next color. I do not know. Lydia top and I love the look of this top. I kind of don't know if this one's gonna fit me. It looks kind of like a bridal piece or like a medieval corset or something like that but in a modern twist. I may have saved the best for last. Why did they give me two of the same thing? Did I order two on accident? I think I ordered two of the same pairs of pants. But I saved the best for last and this is the best, so. Dang. <laughs> these are expensive too, I did not want to do that. Okay, so I have these bottoms that they're kind of like a corduroy feel. And they're these kind of mustardy yellow into a bell bottom and I think that it's so cute. I haven't tried it on but on the models it looks super fitting. This is a top and I just think it's kind of similar to the top that I was just showing you in white but it's just a mustard yellow corduroy one and I also love this little silver zipper detail on both the front of the pants and the back of the top. I think it looks really cute and it's a super nice detail. I have never ordered anything from here and I've actually been following them on Instagram for a while because they have a lot of really cute stuff So I thought it was about time that I got something of my own and I don't really even remember what I ordered because like I said It's been a minute. This is the most difficult package. Ow. I got it Yes. It comes in this cute little bag. It kind of reminds me of a bag when you get like your Chanel stuff or Gucci Oh boy this looks cute. Okay, first and foremost is this leopard print slip dress. It's supposed to kind of have like a swoopy front like this and so there's a lot of extra fabric in the front compared to the back. I think that it's super cute and I love slip dresses because they're super comfortable. red shorts from Beginning Boutique. These are them. They're super high-waisted shorts with little belt hoops. And so I got those to pair with this black belt that I have to put together, but let's see if I can figure this out. <laughs> I hope so, because that would be embarrassing if not. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I got this to pair with it because I thought it would look super cute around these shorts. And then I got this top to pair with it. I think that this is really cute. I don't know if this is necessarily the same red, but I still think it'll look good together, so I'm excited to try it on. Next is this little white top that you basically just have on your arms and then the back is completely open and then this is the front. So the only thing that's on the back is this little white strip right here, but I think that it's really cute and it goes really well with just like a skirt or something when you wanna dress up a little bit but don't know what to wear. But fair warning, you either have to wear nipple pads or something of those sorts because it's white and backless so you can't wear a regular bra. Next is this camo jacket. I love this camo. I don't have any dark camo like this and I think that this is just really pretty. And then to pair with it, I got these camo shorts that coincidentally came with the same belt that I ordered. So again, I got two of the same product. But anyway, these shorts are camo shorts and they have like the pockets on the front. They look super Indiana Jones-esque. I think it's so cute and it'll be perfect for like a festival look or even just a day out on the town. So let's go try this on and see what it looks like. Let's do 
Princess Polly now. Quite honestly, I forgot what I ordered on here. Oh, you know what's funny is I ordered a wicker basket because I never thought I would get my own. But yesterday I was at an event and they gave me one for free. But this one is actually very different. This is a circular wicker basket. This is a hard wicker and the other one's more flexible and feels kind of like it's for the beach. And this one feels like it goes with any simple summer outfit. Okay, next is the shoe box and it says sunglasses are in here, babe. Um, so my sunglasses are probably with the shoes as well. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. They don't want the sunglasses to get squished. So I got these black sunglasses. This is what they look like. Super simple. I have a lot of sunglasses, but I just thought, why not get another pair? They're very simple, they're cute, and I like them. These are from the company Rock Glasses. I have a few pairs from them, and they all hold up really well, actually. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got these boots. <laughs> they're so cute. I was like wondering, I was like, I don't remember ordering any shoes, but I, now I do remember ordering these because I thought they were so cute. My friend Tessa has a pair similar to this and they're thigh highs, but I wanted to get them kind of in a more wearable style because thigh highs can only be worn with so much. I think that they're super cute and it's what inspired me to get this, so thank you Tessa. Next is a pair of jeans. I figured it might be time to get a new pair because it's been a minute since I went jean shopping. So I got this regular pair, they're called the High Skinny Jeans from A Brand. That's like the name of the brand that they're from, but they're on Princess Polly's website. It's a little distressed in this knee over here, but not too much. I think that will probably open up over time, but I also really like how high-waisted these are because the more high-waisted it is, the more I love it. So, I love these. My last shirt from Princess Polly is this one that says thrills. It's so simple, just like kind of wanted a crop top to wear to bed or around the house or while I'm editing or just something along those lines. I think it's really cute and super simple and will even go with those jeans or anything else in my wardrobe really. Okay, this next box I'm opening with a mini screwdriver because I don't know where my scissors are and I'm dysfunctional so... That's what's happening right now. This next box is from I Am Coco, and she has some of the cutest handmade vintage pieces. So I bought two shirts, but I think she threw in a few extra pieces because I've worked with her before, but I didn't really tell her that this haul is supposed to be an all unsponsored haul, so I'm going to share those pieces because she does really have some of the best pieces. But I will still give my honest, brutal opinion. This is so cute. First up is this distressed Playboy crop top. I love how distressed it is. It's not too distressed to the point where you can't wear it, and I'm definitely excited to try this on. Next, she sent me these black sunglasses. These are cool. I think I like these. I didn't think I would like them when I was looking at them like in my hands. I was like, oh yeah. But these are actually really cute on and I feel like I would actually wear them a lot more than I initially thought. I thought they were going to be too wide at first and like go out to like here, but they were actually pretty nice and fit my face pretty well. She also sent me a little chain I'm assuming to wear with like pants or something like that. Then I personally bought this top, the Polo Ralph Lauren top that is scrunched at the bottom. So this is what I mean when she gets vintage pieces and then she redoes them herself. top that I bought that says Chanel. I thought this was just so cute and pretty and a simple top that again scrunches at the bottom but I really like this one. I think it's super cute and I'm excited to try it on and see how it looks. She also threw in a thing in here that says take 15% off your order with the code Melrose. That doesn't do anything for me, but I figured I'd share it with you guys in case you wanted to get anything off her site and wanted a discount. Next is Urban Outfitters. It's starting to get hot in here. I'm going to take my jacket off. Oh, did I seriously only get this backpack? And it came dirty? I thought I got a few t-shirts and a few pairs of pants as well. I thought this was just shipping separately. But anyway, I got this, I have no idea how to say this, F. Jull Raven Kankin Mini one of these bags, but it came freaking dirty. What the even heck? No one wants to buy a dirty bag brand new. Full price. Okay, now my offended butt is going to open this package because I'm hoping that they don't offend me with Brandy Melville. But basically 
the other day in the lobby, I ordered my cat an extra cone because he doesn't like the one that he has now. And someone stole it, as well as my other Urban Outfitters package, I think. So that's fun. So as some of you may know, I used to work with Brandy Melville kind of a lot. And I kind of used to be like a Brandy girl or whatever you want to call it. So I decided to go back in my past and order a few things from there because I just haven't had anything from there in a while. I wanted to test out what the quality is like and all of that, so without further ado, let's get into it. First up are these sweatpants that just say Los Angeles right here. I think that this is so cute, and honestly, Brandy Melville sweatpants are the comfiest. With that, I also got this matching top that says, you guessed it, Los Angeles on the front. I thought that would go really well with the pants because it's Los Angeles, Los Angeles, it's a matching logo. There we go. Next, I got this little tank top, and this feels like such a Brandy Melville piece to me. I love little white tank tops or little black tank tops, for example, but haven't had one in a while, and this is like the classic Brandy tank top, if you ask me. Next is this shirt that has a car on the front, and then on the back it says Motor Show, San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, Boston, Seattle, and Georgetown, 1984. I think that this is so cute, and it kind of reminds me of the wildflower case that has all the cars on it, so I kind of want to get that case, wear this top, and then be a super cute car girl. <music> least is this cute little rainbow crop top. I love this. I thought it was so cute and I've seen a lot of people wear these rainbow tops and I love the style of it and the look of it. So I decided to get one on my own. Let's go try this on and see what it looks like. haul. I got a ton of stuff and I'm pretty happy with how a lot of it turned out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also, make sure to click the notification bell down there and turn on post notifications for all the time because if you don't do that, you probably won't see my videos in your subscription box. So make sure to do that and also check out all my other social medias. They will all be linked down below and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!